Welcome to this tutorial for an ugly Christmas jumper. It's quite a funky design this, we like this one. It's, it's fun, um, it's wearable, um, something really silly for the festive season. Um, we've prepared everything beforehand, so we're going to show you the assembly. On the decorator hub you can see the exact recipe. We've created the re recipe sheet so you can inflate everything as you need to. So I'm going to bring everything in that's pre-inflated and talk you through the assembly more than anything. So we're using a range of different colours. We're going with all fashion tones. We've got some royal blue, orange, uh, we've got forest green and red and five inch fashion white. So I'm going to go ahead with the assembly. So we're going to start with a chain of eight red linker loons. So everything, the, the bulk of the design is based on chains of eight. Um, and then what we've done with this, I've tapered the sizes so you get a bit of a wider base at the bottom. So first one is inflated to about eight and a half inches per balloon and I've measured those around the diameter of the middle of the balloon. So again, inflate your chain of eight, tie them into a ring and then what we then do is move on to the six inch link, link balloon connectors. These are going to almost act as like the, the puzzle pieces and, and connect everything as we move up the jumper design. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of these pieces and then I'm going to tie where we've got the single five inch white round. That is just going to loop into the base, which then just locks itself off. I'm going to do the same with all of the six inch Lincoln chains. You'll notice as well with the very deliberate error that I've just created for myself why I don't tie the link loans into here because I've put one of the longer chains which I don't actually need. So now all I can do is just unwrap that piece because I want to keep the two central pieces for the two shorter chains. So if I'd have tied those in place, I'd now be worrying about them doing knots. So that's right in the middle of that. And picking up on that as well, you'll notice as we move throughout the design, there isn't actually much tying of the balloons once you've created the first chains and, um, and full uh, loops. Um, everything is going to be held together by duplets of five inch white, inflated to about three and a half inches. So now I've got all my connection pieces in place. We can now move on to building up the layers of the jumper. Now we've got a row of blue. These have been inflated to the same size as the red. And then as we move, we're gonna get slightly smaller. And we're gonna take our five inch duplets and fill them in the gaps. Again, there's no need to twist them, lock them in place, they're going to get locked once they attach onto the longer chains. Okay. Let's come here. So now we're going to take the duplets, 
twist them and lock them in place. I personally, I only ever do one single twist clockwise. I know that's strong enough to lock it in place. And I know again that if I need to undo something later on, it's a single twist anti-clockwise to take everything apart. And again, to prove my point, Mr. Link, take it apart. And there we go. Completely intentional, of course. So that's the first two sections locked in place and now we've got a change in size. And again, just going to go round every join. And as we did before, Lay it in place, and we're going to move around to the next section of the vertical chains. Again, just a single clockwise twist to lock it in place. So you can now start to see that it's really starting to come together and how simple the build process is really. As before. So now we're getting towards the top of the shop. We're going to pop it down, move the table out and carry on. Okay, now we're going to finish the top two sections. We've got these preloaded already. So now we're getting to the, so this is going to be the front uh, of the, the jumper or sweater and then these are going to form the arms coming over so I'll take that one and turn it into a, a three. So now we've finished all the main bulk of the jumper, we're going to head on to and do the shoulder piece and the back. It's just very simple. Two chains of three and then a single link loon tied between the two to connect them at the top join. Then on the end of each of the chains of three, just a simple, simple uh, as we've done before, three and a half inch um, fashion white. So what we want to do, so we've got our middle point here two sides these are going to form the front of the shoulders so from the front it doesn't matter if you're doing front or back but I'm going to treat this as the front I'm going to take my single with the two linkaloons above it and I'm just going to bring it into this cluster of two here and just twist it into place and then the back one exactly the same so 
skip one connection point and come to the back one and do exactly the same in the front as you did in the front. That locks into place. So we've now formed a little arch which is also going to um, work as your arm pieces. This section is going to remain open. We've got the back point which was the single balloon going across and then our two here we're going to do exactly the same as we did on that side. Lock it in place and on the back. So we've now created a, a place for, the head, for your head to come out. A bit of stability at the back. And now we can move on to uh, putting the arms and the sleeves on. So as we did for the main body, the sleeves are just made of chains of five, um, inflated to the same size as this one, and then just tied off in a ring, and exactly the same as we did before. Just a duplet, five inch, push through. And then we also have some connection pieces, which are down here, which follow this pattern, green and the blue. They're gonna tie into these sections at the top. So we've now got five almost tentacles sticking out, which we'll use to connect the sleeves in. So bring the five inch, twist it in place. And again, got this join of three link loons. Bring it round, lock it in, and you can tuck it behind. Okay. So we've now got all our connection pieces. So we've got five this side, five that side. And we're going to do exactly what we did, same as we did before. We've got our connections. So we're going to lock directly into there. And again, single twist to lock it in place. As we've said before, if you go wrong, very simple to undo. Okay, and now we need to go to the other side and do exactly the same again. And then we're going to do the final piece of the sleeve, which is exactly the same as the blue. One chain of five tied off into the circle and then the five inch duplets inside. Taking our bobble on the end, we're just going to bring it through, lock it in place. Again, just using that same sim sim simple technique of a single clockwise turn. And again for the other side. And that's pretty much the main shape of it done. Um, 
obviously you've got where you've got bits with three, you can tuck them inside, you can turn it into twos. Where you've got the singles, you can go with a single line down the middle to neaten and tidy it all up. It's, again, it's, it's, it's your design. You can finish it how you want, how you like. I personally prefer the single line with the three at the top for the bit of symmetry. And then all that's left to do really is to put it on. And there we go. A festive, ugly Christmas jumper. But remember, a festive, ugly Christmas jumper isn't just for Christmas. Use it throughout the year. Carnivals, pride parties, everything like that. Theme it how you need to. Merry Christmas. And of course, what ugly Christmas jumper isn't complete without lots of adornments of festive silliness, really. So what we've done, we've taken the Amscan window decorations, snowman and Christmas trees, sticky backs, we've just stuck them onto various locations, trying to keep a bit of um, symmetry within them. And then we've taken the Santa and the elf mini shape heads. And all of them there is taken a two inch piece of balloon bond, a scrap of 260, tied a loop in it. And all I'm gonna do is just pop that loop. Around the balloon and it can sit in place like that and again if you're not using it for Christmas use lots of other different um, small shaped foils and stickers and everything to decorate it however you need to.